Hi everyone, thanks for a thousand subs. As a quick thank you, I'm going to show you how to get up to speed with Blender 2.81, the new version of Cat's Blender plugin, Unity 2018, and the new VRChat SDK. The new version of VRChat is fast approaching, and you're going to want to be ready to use this version of Unity and Blender into the future. Now let's get started. All the links to all the files to get ready to create in VRChat are going to be linked in the description of the video. First, you want to start by downloading Blender 2.81. Open the file, click Run Anyway, accept the dialog, and continue clicking Next until it's installed. I actually recommend installing Blender to another drive if possible, and make sure you set aside a lot of space and a folder for where all your projects are going to stay. Once that's installed, go ahead and open Blender. Next, you need to choose which key you're going to use to select things. I use Right, but you can use Left. Another important thing you're going to want to do is change what the spacebar does. You're going to want to change it to search, most likely. Setting spacebar to search allows you to rapidly find things that you might not know the hotkey for, like for example, flip normals if you want to change a face from front to back. Go ahead and click off the dialog to dismiss it. Now, unlike Blender 2.79, up here in the corner there's, there's this tiny little arrow key. This is where the tools menu will actually hide and the items menu we're going to put Cat's Blender plugin in there. So go ahead and go to Edit and then Preferences. You want to go to Add-ons, then click Install. Then you're going to find where you downloaded Cat's Blender plugin. If you haven't downloaded it yet, the link is in the description. You can download the zip directly from here, or you can go to the Releases tab at the top of the page and download it from there. Back in Blender, click Install Add-on from File, and click the little checkbox to make sure that it's active. You can now close the Add-ons dialog. Who's that guy? I highly recommend that you toss a couple of bucks over at Cat's Blender Plugins Patreon page. Next, before you do anything else, you want to go to the Optimization tab. In here, you're going to want to click Atlas and then click Download Material Combiner. This will take you to an external page. Just like before, we're going to click Install, Add-on from File, and choose Material Combiner. Once it's installed, we're going to click the little checkbox to activate it. You should see this Generate Material List section now inside the Atlas section. You can also see Material Combiner has added itself to the toolbar on the right. You're probably also going to want VRM in Importer. You can download this the same way. You can click the little hamburger menu to the right of the Import mo Model menu and choose VRM. You'll find VRM Importer for Blender 2.80, but that's fine for 2.81 as well. Once again, the last step is to click Install Add-on from File, and to click the checkbox for VRM Importer. Now you're ready to go, and you'll notice that when you choose VRM, you can import VRM files. On Booth.pm, there are some models that are actually open source licensed. They're Creative Commons 4.0. So you're able to download those models and use those as a base mesh for a humanoid if you're feeling a little anime. But there's a lot of other stuff here as well. There's even some paid assets that will, of course, give you legal rights to use it inside VR Chat. Lots of people use game rips, but it's a good idea to stay within the realm of legality, especially if you get good enough to make your own stuff. At some point in the future, you might want to sell something, so you should probably have the rights to do so. One of my all-time favorite models, and a model you can find on the home row inside VRChat, is 2A-7S. The LC low-poly version is really easy to work with and will get you excellent ranked inside VRChat itself. The next step is to download Unity as well, and while we're downloading these other models, we may want to download Unity. So, you're going to want to go down to the, de to the Unity page linked in the description, and you're going to want to click Get Unity Hub. You can also link out to the Unity download page from VRChat.net. You'll notice on VRChat.net there's a little link that will install the correct version. In the future, that link will also work no matter what version VRChat happens to be on. In the description, I've included a quick link for installing Unity 2018. This will automatically launch Unity Hub and allow you to have the correct version installed. Click on Add Unity Version and make sure that you click Android Build Support as well. As of this video, the correct version is Unity 2018.412 F1. Go ahead and wait for that to install. While you're waiting for Unity to install, now's a good time to start prepping your models. You'll notice if you just unzip 2A7S and hit Extract, you're going to see a bunch of garbledygook inside this folder. That's known as Mojibake, and it's basically what happens when you convert files from Shift-JIS to ASCII, or ISO type. These are pretty useless and can cause a lot of problems, so I actually have a fix for that. 
In the description, there's a link for a nifty little program called SGIS Unzip. What that allows you to do is unzip Japanese files encoded in Shift JIS just by dragging them straight on top of the EXE. As you can see here, if I drop 2A7S onto SGIS Unzip, the resulting folder is going to be nice and clean with proper Japanese. This particular model happens to have a Unity package, so you could go straight into Unity with this file, but it is more efficient to bring it into Blender, and you can even edit the texture files before uploading it. This particular model comes with a PSD file, which allows you to edit it directly. That's a Photoshop document, but you can also use Krita, and the link to that's in the description too. Krita is a free, free and open source image editing software that will allow you to do anything you want to the model. You can save this PSD file as a PNG file, for optimization in file size, and for ease of adding it into Blender. We're going to open up the full height version of 2A-7. You'll notice she comes broken out into tons of little parts. These parts are extremely useful because it allows you to customize exactly what you want to have on the model. You'll also notice there's some material files in here, and we're going to need to add our material atlas that we saved with Krita earlier so that the model can be seen in color. A really quick way to get the texture file directly onto the model is to use the included MMD material tab that comes along with Cat's Blender plugin and just add the 2D file as an MMD material. You can also use the shading tab at the top of Blender and add an image object and then connect the color line to the shader itself. I'll probably cover shader tricks inside Blender in a different video. I've covered working with models in my previous videos. Not much of that has changed and Blender 2.81 and Cats hasn't changed exactly too much to really cover it all here in a video again. You can check on my earlier videos in the same playlist for additional information and for going through the steps of creating a model. I'm just going to click Fix Model with this one as is, just so I have something to import into Unity. As always, make sure that you Atlas or combine your materials, either using Material Combiner or manually. I'll probably cover a video on doing that manually as well. Okay, now back to Unity. You'll notice there's two versions in here. If you did it right, you'll have 2017.4, 28F1, which is the current release, and at least is the current release as of this video, and you'll also have 2018.4. So you're going to go ahead and click New Project, and you're going to choose the version you'd like to upload to. I recommend uploading to 2018.4 if you're planning on making content for the near future, and 2017.4 if you want something today. By the time you watch this video, we may be into 2018.4, so 2017 may not matter. Go ahead and name your project something. Make sure that you choose the 3D button and not any of the VR or lightweight RP or 3D with extras. Make sure you pick a location that has plenty of room as this folder will fill up with lots of add-ons and shaders and, so and whatnot. You're going to use this same project folder and just save additional scenes anytime you want to make a new model. Go ahead and click Create. In my follow-up video, I'm going to go over setting up the SDK inside Unity 2018, as well as some extreme optimization tips, as well as how to get ready to create worlds in VRChat, and you'll have two projects, one for your model uploads and one for your world uploads. There's a lot of changes to the UI and interfaces, and in the ways that you install things for Unity 2018.4, so if you want to be ready for the future in VRChat in 2020, which is now fast approaching as of this video, you're going to want to follow along and do these things. This will allow you to upload content both to Android and PC. And I'm going to show you how to optimize your system so that you can do that as well. Creating content for Quest exclusive maps is not hard at all. And making all of your content cross-platform is not hard at all. I'm going to show you how to do that in the following video. So please stay tuned.